Hello everyone. Sorry I'm going to be the bearer of bad news this evening because the Home Office here have just put out a procurement document which has earmarked at least £700 million to manage the arrival of illegals on uh, small boats until 2030. Until 2030. With an option to extend it up to 2034. That is another 10 years of this nonsense being expected by the government. <sighs> 10 more years of this. Let's have a look at this procurement document that they issued last week. They have put out a tender for industries in the canteen and catering services, in special purpose road passenger transport services and administration, defence and social security services. Let's have a look. Closing date, the 2nd of February next year. The purpose of the disembarkation and solar centre at Western Jetfoil and the National Reception Centre at Manston are to register and process individuals arriving in the UK on small boats from across the English Channel. Now, first things first, they are not individuals, they are illegals. Illegal individuals, you might say, and they are not small boats. The average size is 50 plus. That is not a small boat, in my opinion. The aim of these centres... Uh, is to provide a safe and secure environment, allowing border farce to process arrivals with dignity and respect, which is a big middle finger to the likes of you and me. The Home Office is currently transforming the site at Manston, you know, up on the north coast um, of Kent, to establish permanent purpose-built facilities coordinated by the Manston Transformation Programme. The programme is looking for partners, no, shall we call them businesses that are willing to take your shilling, to deliver suitable operation and wraparound services for the operations at the Western Jetfall, like Dover, that's what it is, and Manston, plus medical services for an initial term of six years with an option to extend for an additional Two 24-month periods, so an additional four years. The value of this is for the initial term of six years, which is £700 million. So, let's have a look. What exactly are they putting out? Um, what do they want? What do they really need? Well, here we go. At Manston, they want, uh, because of the reception centre, services will include... Overall management of services, so basically the pen pushes, the ones that go, OK, right, you're on that shift, you're doing that shift, you're going here, you know, but it's just basically like pushing pens around all day. Staffing of custodial facilities. So obviously you're going to need people to serve their meals, you know, organise their activities, their days out, booking coaches to go into town booking these old taxis to go to the mosque or whatever. Security and guarding services, you know, you know the ones, the grunts on the gate. No, you can't film here, you can't do that. You know, welfare services and well-being. Oh, how are you today? You know, oh, my mental health isn't that good. Okay. Um, catering, and obviously they've got to have... Um, all food cooked to their liking, you know, otherwise they do um, tend to not like that so much, and escorting services around the site. The same is true at Dover, where they get off. They seek a commercial partner, i.e. traitor, to provide operation and wraparound services where in arrivals disembark, no, ferried, taxied, chauffeured, whatever you want to call it, are provided with a medical check not included in this one, okay, yeah, so obviously medical services, and are registered for processing. These services may include, obviously, the pen pushers, the guards on the gates, security, oh, obviously, because they might kick off, um, welfare services and well-being, catering and escorting services. Now, look, medical services. Now, this is one thing that really sticks in my craw. I ask you, when was the last time you saw a doctor? 
without having to wait and wait and wait on the phone? When was the last time that you got a dentist appointment? Hmm, when was the last time that you were seen in A&E within, I don't know, say 10 hours? When was the last time that you got a, a surgery without it being cancelled? When was the last time you saw a consultant? When was the last time you you actually got anything from the NHS? It's got steadily worse. It's crumbling. And the more people that get off these boats, the less chance you have of getting a GP appointment, the less chance you have of getting a hospital um, bed, the less chance you have of actually seeing a GP. It is putting the NHS under even more pressure than it has been in decades. Unbelievable. And look, here we go. The estimated value £700 million with a potential length of six years plus an additional could be an extra four years. So it just tells me that the uh, they've got their ducks all in a row. You know, they're trying to hide this from you guys. They're trying to hide it from you. But they expect this farce to continue for another 10 years, potentially, but definitely for the next six. What an absolute joke. What an absolute joke. I'm surprised I've managed to get to the end of this video without swearing. I really don't want to be cancelled, but it's a big F you to both you, me, all of us. This country is going to hell in a handcart. We're on borrow time. Anyway, guys, sorry about the rant there. Sorry, when I go off on one, I go off on one. <laughs> anyway, as always, let us know what you think in the comments. And um, yeah, try and enjoy your evening. Okay. Bye for now, everyone. Thanks for watching.